you're just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay guys, over the years here at the channel, I've had lots of questions from you guys about working out and different methods, techniques, so on and so forth. And typically those conversations center around what goes on at the gym. But what I wanted to share with you guys is how I go about working out. Now I have, actually I've used these techniques forever. I used to use them in conjunction with the gym, but now I use them as my primary source of training. And to be perfectly honest with you, I prefer them. It's not only because I'm older, it does, it does help because there's very little risk of injury with these type of workouts. And of course, your, your, your risk of damage to muscles, tendons, so on and so forth, increases as you get older because they lose their elasticity. But beyond that, I just get great results from all this. It was always referred to as dynamic tension, something started by Charles Atlas decades ago, but it, it really works and it can help you build your strength help you build your stamina, help you build your overall look. This this stuff really does work. You don't hear anybody talk about it a lot because there's no money to be made from it because you don't need any equipment. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need anything, but you can get great workouts just using these dynamic tension type of exercises. I'm going to go over one with you today. If you guys enjoy this stuff, I'll go over more of them with you. The cool thing is this type of working out, you can do it at your convenience throughout the day. Outside of the cardio stuff, when we're talking about just building strength and feeling good and getting oxygen pumping through your through your muscles and ox, you know just providing oxygen to your whole body, which is critical, you can do this in just several minute segments all day long as you have time doing different body parts. It doesn't destroy the muscles intentionally as weightlifting does. It breaks them down so they grow back stronger. This just infuses oxygen gets a, a lot of fatigue in the muscles to allow them to just feel, you'll get that good feeling of having worked out and you will get results from it. Now, if your goal is to become a, a competitive power lifter, this isn't for you. You gotta go get under some steel and start pumping weights. If your goal is to just stay strong, stay healthy, feel good, these are some of the, this is some of the best stuff out there. So we'll go through lots of them. I'm gonna teach you guys, if, if you enjoy these videos, I'll teach you guys how to actually shadow box because I see <laughs> I see shadow boxing incorporated into lots of instructional videos and it's it's sad it's pathetic I'll teach you how to do that um we'll talk a little bit more about nutrition again me losing weight now getting back into shape like I need to do just because I'm older and it sucks because I'm a fat guy I like to eat I like to eat whatever I want to eat but sometimes you just can't do it I'm very basic when it comes to that. You don't need a specific diet. You need a balanced diet and it'll work for everybody in every situation. But let's go to this first exercise today. This is one, again, make some time for it. Set yourself out a couple minutes. Go through this routine. Do it again later in the day if you want. It's not like weights where, again, you're breaking down the muscle tissue with the idea of rebuilding back stronger. You don't need that significant amount of rest period in between them. This one is just called pulling it. No, it's, it's okay. Pulling the rope. I always refer to this one as pulling the rope. Where it will work your arms. By arms, I mean your biceps. Work your chest really well. Work your traps, your shoulders. Can work your back. All just depends on how much intensity you want to put into it. There's a couple ways to do this. You can do it with max intensity where you're really straining the muscles as hard as you can. Or a lesser intensity where you can keep going at it for a longer period of time. Whatever works comfortably to you. I found that I think if you put max intensity to it, it tends to increase your strength more than if you do it for the um, longer period of time with less intensity. But the most important thing is focus. You have to focus your attention on the muscle groups you're using. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna pull some ropes. It's gonna work your biceps, it's gonna work your chest, gonna work your traps, gonna, gonna work your back. And all that is, is just what it sounds like. You're gonna reach out, you're gonna grab the rope, and as you pull it in, you're reaching out with the other hand to continue pulling the rope from side to side. Now, as you do this, you're concentrating on keeping this chest flexed. Pull with your arm, but pull with your chest as well. Pulling in. Do not release the tension in your arms at any point. When you're pulling, the other one's coming out. When this the arm is coming out, you're still tense. You wanna work more on your shoulders? It's just a concentration. You drop your arms a little more, put your shoulders into it, put those trap muscles into it and pull and pull, pull them. And you're just put, you gotta visualize 
that you're pulling a, a train because we hate fucking trains. You got a rope tied to a train and you're pulling it towards you. Just keep working it, keep working it, keep working it. Now, what I like to do, I'm doing that with a lot of intensity, a hyper intensity. But what I do is as if I'm doing an exercise with that max intensity, let's do a few. Now, oh, I should also point out too, as you're pulling the rope, because we want to work the biceps, make sure you're pulling and curling your arm back. So you reach out, you grab that, that'll work some tricep too as you pull out, and then you're curling it back in. The other one's reaching out, curling it back in. Same time, keeping that chest tight. Lower your arms, get your shoulders into it, your traps into it, boom, boom, boom. Now, what I like to do, I'm doing that with max intensity, but I will do it at maximum intensity for however long I've got. You'll, the muscle will start to give up. And as you feel that you're getting that point of fatigue, I will lower the intensity and just do some really quick at the end just to finish it off. So it'd be like this. Pull out as you're pulling in, but you're pulling in with both sides. So just try to keep an even breathing. So you're kind of like. Yeah, a locomotive. Now I'm going to put max intensity into this. And you'll feel that start to burn. It feels good, actually. And now, as you can't keep that intensity up, now it's going to go less intense and faster. And just keep pulling. Keep pulling. Always a good advice for life in general. Just keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep that intensity. Keep it in your chest, your shoulders, your arms. Pulling. Pulling. Faster, faster. And that's it. You will get a phenomenal workout. You'll feel it. Trust me. You're going to be tired. Those muscles are gonna really feel that fatigue afterwards. You'll feel a burn in them. Works just as well as any exercise you're gonna do in the gym. Gonna work just as well as the exercises you're gonna pay thousands of dollars in equipment costs for in home gyms. You can do it anytime, any place you've got enough room to reach and pull. Tons of exercises like this. <laughs> It gasses you. And again, I know I'm an old man, but trust me, I've been doing these. I've been working out again for a couple months. Every, you know, I'm used to it. And it's still because you're always pushing to your own personal max. You don't have to worry about how much weight is on a bar or anything. You're going to push to your own personal max doing this. So it's always going to be a great workout. You're always going to feel like I feel right now, like, whoo, can't get enough oxygen in there. But that's what you want. I'll be showing you plenty of these. If you guys enjoy this stuff, I'll show you plenty of these exercises, show you more about shadow boxing, talk about nutrition, but you can do it for every area of your body, your core, your legs, your upper body. If you guys enjoy this stuff, let me know in the comments and I'll show you more. Right now, what I really want to do is go have like a super giant chocolate vanilla twist ice cream cone, soft serve. Cause I just got done pulling it. So, you know, I want it to be soft, but because I'm supposed to be getting in shape, I want, I'm going to go eat some stupid fucking pretzels instead. Yay. <laughs>